So today we will reverse a link list. So let's first go ahead and create a node class. This node class will have two properties. It will first have a value. In our node, we'll only work with integers for now, but this could easily be a generic node class. Next, we'll have our next pointer to the next node. In that case, the node could be optional. Right, because maybe it's pointing to nil, which is that's the end of the list, or maybe the list itself is empty. There's no nodes. Next, we'll go ahead and create our initializer, which takes in a value here of type int. And here we need this initializer in order to initialize our value. Next, we'll go ahead and set the value to value here. Great. So we're done with the node class. Let's go ahead and create a function that will take in a node and reverse it. So first we will go ahead and create a function. Uh, just to test, we'll create a function called print node values. It simply takes in a node, optional node, and it prints the values of that node use a while to go ahead and traverse the node list. Here we'll say if there is a current node, if current node is not nil, in other words, right? So we're using a while let here. This is gonna unwrap the node, put it into the current node if there is a value. If there is a value, just go ahead and print current node.value. And we need to continue iterating through the nodes. So the way we'll do this is we'll say node gets assigned current node dot next. Okay. And we also have to make our node mutable. We need to make it mutable here in order for us to actually assign it a new body here. Great. Now let's continue on. So pretty much let's test this. Let's create a series of nodes. Here I'll create node one. It's going just to be node three, for example. What our node is going to look like. So three is pointing to one, it's pointing to eight. And this is the end of the list. So here we'll have three nodes. We'll say node two. Two gets the value of one. And lastly, we'll have node three, which will get the value of eight. And now we'll connect our nodes together. So we'll say node one, that next pointer is pointing to node two. And node two, next pointer, is pointing to node Great. So now we have node one pointing to node two and node two pointing to node three. Great. So three, one, eight. Let's see if this print node values works as intended. So we'll actually just call print node values, pass it node one, and we should get back three, one, eight in the console. So we'll go ahead and run. And now we have 318. Great. So this is printing all the node values in a given node. Now let's go to the question. Question says reverse a singly linked list. And here we have a singly linked list because we have one pointer next. If this was a doubly linked list, it would have a previous node. This would be a doubly linked list. Let's go ahead and continue. So we write our function. We'll call it reverse list. Reverse list takes in node. It returns node. Great. So what do we want to do here? Well, a couple of things we want. We definitely know we want to iterate. We want to iterate through a series of nodes, very similar to what we had in our print nodes function, right? 
So this while loop will iterate through the nodes, it will traverse it, will keep track, will keep track. We need two pointers. One, we need a pointer. We'll create a pointer here called previous, previous node, which is optional. It's nil currently. This is actually going to be the new list we return. This is going to be our reverse list. So reverse. Uh, this will be the first list returned. So let's actually go ahead and do so. So return previous node here. This is going to be the reverse list. Reverse list or reverse nodes. Great. All right. Let's continue on. Now, since this problem calls for pointer manipulation, right? So in this problem, there is pointer manipulation being done. All right, so what does that mean? It means our current node pointer will look like this, for example. Let's say three is pointed to one. At some point, we will want to reverse that pointer. So it's going to be in our entire node, if we have to construct our entire node, three is pointing to one, is pointing to eight, right? is pointing to nil, for example. We want to go ahead and reverse this pointer here. So at the end of it, we want to have eight is pointing to reverse what eight is pointing to. Eight is now going to be pointing to one. And one will be pointing to three. And three is going to be nil. All right. So there's a bunch of pointer arithmetic here. So we need to make sure that we are keeping track and not changing the references of the same node we're working with. So here we'll keep track of previous node in its own uh, pointer, in its own reference. So this is why we have this previous node here, and this is why we'll be returning that previous node. Something else we need to keep hold of, we'll create next node here, which is also going to be its own pointer because we'll be manipulating current nodes pointer. So we don't want to lose the reference of this. So we'll keep it in a temporary variable here. We could say temp node. All right, let's go on to see what's going on. So at the end of all this, definitely we want to keep traversing. So keep traversing the list. And to keep traversing the list, we have to update what our node is, right? So that node here, is currently a let because it's in this function, right? Since we're manipulating it or mutating it, we want to say node equal to node. So now we can mutate node because we need to mutate node in order to keep traversing here. So we'll reassign node next node, right? So this is gonna keep going from three to one, one to eight, eventually nil where we end. So this is going to end our while loop. Great. This next node, we need to capture. This next node here, we have to capture what current node. Because current node, remember, since we're doing some pointer manipulation here, we don't want to lose where our current node is. Right? So we want to keep track of this. We'll store it temporarily in this next node here. So we'll say current node.next. Right, current node dot next. This is how we actually will be traversing. Right, so now next, so now this next node here represents current node dot next. In other words, current node dot next will be current node dot next will be one. I move to one. I move to eight, and so on and so forth. Great. So this is a traversing. Awesome. The main part of this problem. Main part of this problem is at this line. This line 
this line here will be reversing the pointer, right? The current X pointer, right? So we'll be going from a forward arrow, in other words. So we'll be going from going forwards to going backwards, like that. What does the code look like here? We'll be saying current node dot next equal to previous node, okay? So previous node, first time we come in here, previous node is nil, so this is nil, right? I could be explicit, this is nil, but if you say node optional, it's nil, right? So previous node here is nil currently. So the first time we come in here, current node.next is gonna be going from three to one and reversing that pointer, right? So now it's going to be nil. So as we keep going, we'll keep reversing the pointers until we're done. And at the end, this is what we'll be getting, eight to one, one to three. And all that arithmetic reversing the pointer is done in this one line of code we wrote here, okay? And last but not least, we have to assign previous node, current node. Actually, let me take this and put it up here. And I'll say main part of this problem is main part of this problem is the following two lines. Okay. Great. Uh, so here we go. This is reversing. This is reversing the pointer. So current node that next is pointing to previous node. And previous node itself gets current node. So what's going to happen is this is what it's going to look like. The first time we come in here, it's going to be nil. The second time we come in here, it's going to be three. Then it's going to be one. Then it's going to be eight. So what's going to be happening, it is pointing to one, pointing to three, pointing to nil. Okay, because every time we come in here, we assign previous node, current node. But in doing so, we reverse what the pointer is. So the pointer is not going in the same direction as it was going before in the far direction. It's now going in the reverse direction. So this is all we have for the reverse list. Let's test it out and see if we have any errors anywhere. Right? Okay, let's go ahead and do so. So I'll say modified list equal to, I'll call my reverse list here. I'll pass in my node one, which is my first node three. Three is connected to one, one is connected to eight, and so forth. And to test it, this should now be reversed. I'll go ahead and use my print function, which we wrote earlier, and I'll pass in modified list here, or rather modified node. And I'll go ahead and run it. And now we have reversed. So the first, this is forwards, 318. And the reverse is 813. OK? Hope this video was helpful to going over what reverse list looks like um, or reverse, uh, reversing a link list. Thank you for watching.